Lisa Ling's career as a TV personality has been a wild one. Most people know her as an acclaimed journalist who has reported from the most destitute place in the world. So they will likely be surprised when they learn that she started her career in TV as one of the hosts of The View. Why did she leave? Did you know she was fired? Find out the answers along with the news about her new show in this video. Lisa Ling joined the table of The View in 1999, beating 12,000 candidates for the spot, but sadly left after only three and a half years in November 2002. Barbara Walters announced her exit on the show, saying some three years ago, when after a long search, we were fortunate enough to have Lisa join us, and I said, you should stay with us about three years. We know you want to be a reporter, and then you should think about spreading your wings, and unfortunately, she took our advice. For a long time, we thought that Lisa really did leave from her own accord, especially since shortly after, she became the host of National Geographic's Ultimate Explorer. However, Raman Satude, in his book, Ladies Who Punch, the explosive inside story of The View, told in a 2019 interview that Lisa was asked to leave the show after it appeared she was not opening up as much as the rest of the co-hosts on the show regarding her personal life. It may have been smarter for her, but the show's ratings were being affected as a result. I felt like I was doing as much as I could, but at a certain point, it would set people in my life and would talk about them without permission. Raman quoted Lisa saying in his book as well. So that was the reason she was fired, but it seems like she's still on good terms with the show as she has returned to guest host many times in the last years, including earlier this month. Lisa went on to have a superb career and as of now is indulging in a new food and cooking show takeout with Lisa Ling, which has deeper documentation of the Asian American struggle and history. It is something that Lisa can relate to having her grandfather who graduated from NYU and an MBA at the University of Colorado, but still failed to find a job because of his race. It was her grandmother who saved everything she could teach in piano to open a Chinese restaurant in Folsom, California. I spent the first 17 years of my life ashamed of my ethnicity. I just don't want to be different from everyone else and that applied to the food I brought to school, she went on to say on social media. Today, I packed noodles, soy sauce, fried egg, seaweed packets, and French Chinese cookies for my girls' lunch. I would have never bought those things to school when I was a kid. Now she will visit all kinds of Asian food outlets and learn their similar stories in the show. Check Tech Out with Lisa Ling on HBO Max starting on January 27.